Exactly 30 days from the day Dr. Stephen Richardson decided to get personally involved in solving the impending shortage of ventilators, the solution is FDA approved for emergency use and in volume production. Dr. Richardson and his small team recruited Technic on the second day of the project to add motion control and automation design expertise to the team. Within days, our collective team had developed several concepts and prototypes. A typical ICU ventilator has a multitude of features and functions, but it also has thousands of components sourced from hundreds of suppliers in a dozen countries. We had to relentlessly simplify our design. A few weeks ago, when we considered the whole process, design, prototyping, testing, iterating, more testing, documenting, gaining regulatory approval, and scaling into full production, we realized each added feature would exponentially increase our risk of failure. The final design of the ventilator, which is really more accurately a device that automates the use of a common FDA-approved AMBU bag valve mask, is simple and easily manufacturable in volume. The simple mechanical design was complemented by Technic's ClearPath servo motor system. ClearPath integrates a servo motor, drive, and controls into one package, which minimized cabling, eliminated external controls, and streamlined testing. ClearPath's built-in diagnostic capabilities also allowed the team to collect critical parametric data like torque versus time, actual velocity, temperature, position, bus voltage, etc. The final design, which Technic engineers internally nicknamed the AmbuBot One-Armed Robot, was submitted to the FDA just 15 days after conception under the official name Coventer Automatic Adult Manual Resuscitator Compressor. Congressman Colin Peterson and Donald Payne, along with a bipartisan group of 41 additional members of Congress, urged the FDA to move quickly on our team's design. The FDA, upon review, complimented our team, saying, the genius of this design is in its simplicity, and you will save lives with this device. A little over two weeks later, they granted the formal emergency use authorization. Units are currently in volume production by Boston Scientific and Aperio Systems. The university plans to release the design shortly under an open source license so it can be manufactured worldwide.